In this episode of Rob Christie Hack Across America, we continue with our mission to try to find something worth doing in every state. This week, we finish up our time in Eureka Springs, Arkansas, and head on down to the Eureka Springs and Northern Arkansas Railway. Conveniently located right on State Highway 23, just on the outskirts of Eureka Springs. So we're up at the North Atlantic Railroad here in Eureka Springs, getting ready to do an old train car ride. Now the train ride does run $19 per person and it lasts about an hour to an hour and a half. They do have other excursions for lunch and dinner that run about $35. The train goes a little bit longer, but you do get a meal as well. You got a lot of old cars and train cars here. It's pretty neat, old railroad. Not sure where the train actually goes, but uh, I might go buy all this old stuff. I didn't feel like walking all the way down back there to check it out if we're gonna be going by it. Now these trains aren't wheelchair accessible, but then again, back then when these trains were running, wheelchair accessibility wasn't really a concern. They do, however, allow service dogs on the train if that is something that you require. And as I might have mentioned before, this is a really old train. And air conditioning wasn't invented at the time these trains were running. They only had ceiling fans and opening up the window. So it was pretty hot in there. And as you can see, we had an old wood burning stove right in front of us. And that's what they used to use as heat back in the winter time. Now there wasn't really a lot to see here on this train ride. It didn't go through any tunnels or on any bridges or anything like that. It just kind of went through the trees for about 10 miles and it turned around and went back the other direction. Now my favorite part of the train ride was when they stopped the train and let us get out and wander around, check out a couple old trestle bridges, and even put some pennies on the train tracks so they could flatten them out and we get some souvenirs. So if you're new to this channel and you're not quite a fan yet, consider subscribing. We got plenty of great videos in over 20 states. If you are a fan, please let us know by writing keep on hiking in the comments. And as always, stick around till the end of the video. See where we go next week.
Now, once we got back on the train, it was basically the same thing, just in reverse. They had a lot of stories about ghosts, train wrecks, and other stuff about the area. But other than that, it was a pretty basic train ride, nothing too spectacular. In the next episode of Rob Christie Hike Across America, we're back in Missouri and we're celebrating 4th of July down at Palm de Terra Lake. So if you found yourself liking this video and you want to see more, please like, share, subscribe. There's plenty on the channel, more on the way. Until next time, keep on hiking.